Hey guys, uh, welcome to this new tutorial of the LF1. And uh, as we've seen, we've been like modeling all the details. I just want to do this tutorial to just model some more of the details here. Um, I'm gonna start extruding some things here. Um, And you can see I have this in ghosted mode right now um, because it's starting to it's starting to be interesting to deal with also the interior and the exterior, right? Um, I'm extruding. I could. This is what I meant before when we are talking about um, isolating elements so you can see we can go back to shaded mode it's definitely easier to select stuff and and here we're getting kind of closer um, let's make sure that we're putting stuff in the right layers so this should be in volume 3 I believe yeah So you can see that we could start adding some additional elements here. Um, element 3, we could just do this line here and maybe loft. This line we just created with this line here. Let's try that again. you can see that we started doing all this detail if we look at some of the images there is some entrance here right there's also a cutout here that seems quite interesting I haven't seen that before so there's some cutout in this area um, something else we could do right now we've been waiting for uh, section lines we could just you see the door here basically without selecting um, without pressing shift I mean without pressing uh, snapping to anything we could do a line here and there's two ways that we can go with this we could completely remove the ingredients of this uh, cladding or we could just like do a small offset and leave like there's kind of a hint that that's kind of an open uh, door right if we look at some of the details maybe we should just follow it's cut out right so we're gonna just do a trim So at this point it would be good to actually just isolate, select objects. Maybe I want to leave the top one, right? So I'm hiding and inverting selection and using these two elements and then see that we have a hint of where the door is and those two lines you can just leave them or cut them or you can leave them in extra lines or layer so you can see that that hint of the door shows where you would access the the bridge so that's pretty good and let's try to do there's one main cutout that we haven't really done to deal with the interior space of this building right there's some relation 
between this volume and this part, right? And right now we do not have any connection whatsoever, right? So let's uh, check in the images if we have any details of that. And it's probably in the sections, right? So, um, so we have this stair that would be interesting to model at some point, um, right? And you can see here. I think that pretty much everything from this line on, it's open, right? So this is all this window, and up there we have the window, but down here we have a connective, and and you can see here that cutout. This is the cutout that we were talking about. So we can see, we can understand it now, right? So this is solid. This is a window, and everything else is open. Right, so let's isolate that element. Well, first of all, I don't know why our, our window seems to be short here, right? It's an issue there. Um, and we're going to just. So let's do the following, right? Extract wireframe. And I'm going to leave this line, right? And I'm going to do a straight line here. That's where I want to cut, right? So extend. Select boundary curve, this one, curve, this one, and there. We have that element, right? And we're going to cut here. Somewhere here. And we probably need more references. And this element will leave as well. Fine. Um, we might want to use this element as well. So I'm selecting the two elements that I want, and plus this layer to just bring this element into the scene. Um, Right, so we can see that here we have the ramp. So we basically want to cut. Let's try to get that ramp to be one line, okay? So we're going to extract wireframe again. Select this line and remove everything else and hide this guy. So we're getting better lines for this cut out, right? This is the line. These lines we don't really need, so we can hide them as well. They're being confusing, right? looking better. Uh, okay. So let's trim first these two. So we want to cut this. And the 
let's cut below this as well so we need to trim this too we could do a copy of this wireframe extend select boundary curve right so we want to get rid of this one definitely we don't want to get rid of this bit here but we do want to get rid of all this part here below actually we could just Right, so let's start by joining these three. So split. There we go, we have that one. Now we want to split this one. With this one and this one, right? Let's let's get rid of this one first, and then we see what we do. We do with these elements over here. So um, the first thing we need to do is just trim these two. Right. I'm joining those. And split oh. gotta join them because they're not in the same plane now they are right so now I can join them surface right right and um, the problem with this bit here So I did a little a, a chamfer between this one and this one. And the problem with this surface here is that the cladding, if we extend this window, right? And I don't know why we had that mistake there. If we extend this window, we will have to just um, extend the window itself, you know, and the sort of stuff that we would have to do. So I would leave it like that for now. It doesn't really matter so much. Um, just make sure that you model it differently if you're interested in having exactly the building. But again, it's just showing what would be the tools and a little bit of the workflow that you would do when you're working like this. Um, so let's go back to the surface. Let's remove some of the stuff that we don't want to deal with now. So roofs out, windows out bridge so this element um, here we have the entrance right here we have the entrance so this element basic basically doesn't exist it's just a void so that's the main connection between the two spaces, right? So we clearly need to do a copy of this geometry there. And then probably just trim it with this element here.
So I'm scaling. Right? So you see that it's the interior wall and we could also loft some of these um, connections to make sure that we're working in the right polygon volume We can see how we're completing this. And as much as many of these tools, we could do them in in other views. I like working in perspective because I feel like I start understanding the space better. And just go in there and add more detail and just keep on working with the geometry. Uh, we can see that this element was belonging to the bridge layer, small mistake there, maybe these elements as well, it's looking pretty good interesting space um, and we have the connection between those two spaces we need a few more columns I believe uh, and more detail on this roof I mean on this window but uh, we can see that we can basically keep on adding detail like we've been doing so right so I will do that oh maybe one thing more bring this guy into the window layer and move zero dot zero dot twenty four so you can see now you can always isolate And we are done with this detail here. We'd have to check, maybe this window doesn't seem to be so deep. But we're maintaining some of the sizes and the rest of the model. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, we're soon to finish, so I'll see you guys soon.